what is going on guys today's video we have the 7r yms microphone this is a pretty inexpensive microphone you could get it for about 70 bucks i'll throw a link in the description if you decide to purchase i'll take a look at the actual box itself when you unbox it for the first time you do have multiple different stuff available now this is meant for travel it's a mini condenser microphone meaning that you do have a usb type c a usb type c cable so it's good for max you also do have a bag included which means you do have Every, everything portable basically like i said you do have an otg cable in case you don't have a type c port available you can use as a usb port so that's good for that let's get into the rest of the sound quality and other tests we have the microphone right here it is very small it's just for size comparisons an iphone 13 pro now a thing i'm actually seeing on my own is that you can remove this base here and that'll allow you to have this thread right here i don't know the specific uh measurements for that thread but it's not a standard one but you can get one of these little attachments here i'm going to show you i believe it's a three fourths actually but you can go ahead and attach that to the bottom of this base here seamlessly and then you can have it on a boom arm so that's a way to actually put this boom mountable and it just rotates it looks clean as you can see it's floating it's small it's minimal or you could have it portable travel and pretty much anywhere else you want it's an amazing microphone I have my ample game here just for size comparison as well as you can see it's very very tiny it's crazy how small it is i'm gonna get a different boom arm by the way it plugs in from the back which i guess helps with cable management it's, it's pretty hidden like from this distance and everything it's really hidden so i will be doing a comparison between the the 7r yms and the ample game 2.0 so stay tuned for that because i will be doing a very very in-depth comparison between those two now on the front you do have a little led indicator for your microphone so it's on and off as you can see it illuminates red when it's muted blue when it's active that's a really really nice touch and you also do have mic monitoring on the back so you can go ahead and throw some headphones on and uh, you can easily monitor your audio but this looks very clean very minimal all right so we're gonna hop into the dimensions we have software here we have the right there boom patch record and we're ready and we're good to go so i'm going to lower this volume so we don't have an echo this is the microphone it does have a built-in pop filter i forgot to mention that but it does have a built-in pop filter which looks 10 times better i'm actually going to turn on this light just for some uh ambience you know all right so let's go ahead and hop into the davinci resolve raw sound all right so this is what it sounds like with the 7y the 7r yms microphone the big number seven on the front this is what it sounds like really nice microphone overall now this is an up close shot and how would it sound like uh this is how you do typically on voiceovers so i will do a p test pst peter piper picker pepper pellins you know the deal peter piper picker pepper pellins you know the deal Typically four inches is the best distance for recording audio on any. So that's that. I'm gonna go all the way on max. We're gonna go all the way to our normal speaking distance, which is roughly around our normal speaking distance, roughly around, I'd say four to six feet. Really, really um, well spaced out that. This is basically the same distance how we would be for live streaming or whatever. This is the same distance how we would be for that. Now, uh, Got my microphone in the back right there, so I'm excited to do a uh, 1v1 on this, basically. Uh, a one-on-one. -on -one. You can adjust this right here, so you can tighten it to go in and out, smooth or less smooth. Uh, that's really nice. I'm going to test out the mute. Seems like it has a loud button click whenever you mute or unmute. So that might be a downside. I'm going to go ahead and lower the volume. We're going to get up close and then we're going to slowly gradually bring it up and see if there's a big change or whatever. Um, I noticed for this microphone in particular, a little bit too much closer to that 100 range. So I recommend it around 75%. And you could turn it down in post. That's just a warning just for that. So yeah, this microphone is beautiful. It sounds amazing. It's good for portability if you have a Mac or Air macbook air macbook pro this is one of those microphones that will definitely get rid of background sound get you the best quality for your money and it sounds good it looks good it's very small and discreet and uh it just does a really good job so i'm gonna go to do the background test right now we're gonna hop into the third setting all right so we're in the background test right now we're about 75 percent of the way and the air purifier which is roughly around 60 to 70 decibels in basically speed and loudness it's very very good background noise and most microphones can't do a really good job at that test so we're gonna see if this actually will cancel out a lot of the sound i'm 100 going for it so yeah that's that we're gonna boost up the dial so this is at 100 usually it does a worse job at microphones we'll see if this does better or good and you could be the judge for that peter piper picker pepper pellins melons you know the deal all right so we have a new microphone 
boom arm set here. Apparently I wasn't recording the entire time, but basically this is the sound quality of it. It's roughly almost at 100% volume, so this is what it sounds like. We also do have a fan above us, so if you hear any sound on that, that's what that sounds like. Stay. And this right here is what my actual voiceover slash normal microphone will sound like. I'll probably have to position it if I were to do actual live streaming. I guess a little sneak peek if you can compare it just like that. Let me know in the comments down below which microphone you will see against this microphone. I have a few other microphones coming in, so we'll do multiple microphone videos coming up. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and we'll see you guys next one. Thank you for watching. We out.